welcome friend to my youtube channel where this is dedicated for machine learning so today i will be you know analyzing the hard data this is data set that is from uci machine learning repository and this data set has got uh, around here the description that we can find the number of instances is 300 and the number of attributes is 75 does it have any missing value yes so we'll see by the help of a panda library like jupyter notebook i will be you know processing the data clearing the data if necessary and filter the data and then with the help of uh, four machine learning uh, models i'm going to compare which model is helping us uh, you know getting the proper accuracy okay let's go to the panda library so this is my Jupyter notebook where I have been the first section I have imported the panda and the numpy and the matlib for plotting it and c1 also for plotting some uh, graphs okay so here as I have already mentioned I have just this is the uh, URL where I have uh, captured you know downloaded the data for analysis so the description is the attributes are like age sex whether male or female chest pain whether uh, the patient is having chest pain i want to there are uh, two three four types like atypical angina or atypical or non-angina or sympathetic like that a test pps they like the blood pressure resting blood pressure what is the blood pressure and the cholesterol level and the fasting blood sugar all these parameters like 300 uh, number of uh, patients record has been captured okay so this is the data you are in i'm sorry it's going down okay i'm trying to run it okay i forgot to run it okay let's run it it's loaded then i try to load the data from that url by red csv data delimiter is like the separator is say comma and we'll just load the data to this data uh, data uh, frame like raw data that is the pandas data frame run it okay now we need to see what is the information of that data how does the shape look like we'll just print it okay the output you can see is is a float which is the float and the last one is like uh, the target is the integer target means we'll see what is the structure look like target means whether uh, the patient is having uh, a heart disease like zero is he is not he doesn't have heart disease or he or she may have heart disease typically types like one or four okay and so target is our thing that we need to predict whether uh, this is well, this is like the class of target our machine learning will predict if you give any future data it will predict whether it is going to have a heart disease or not okay the data shape look like we will run to the data shape okay we have 300 uh, number of records it has 14 attributes number of rows and columns like 300 and uh, 14 okay, we'll just see whether it has any null value or not so that we can process and filter it because that null value is not going to help us okay it doesn't have any null value because i've already picked very you know pre-processed uh, you know pure data so we don't have to do any processing here so let's describe the data how does it look like okay the sample of the data the number of counts is of these attributes uh, age sex everything is 303 the mean of the data of age distribution is 55 standard deviation is 9 and max value is 77 that means the number of record contained minimum age is 29 and maximum age of the patient is 77 similarly sex you know is a male or female it's like 0 or 1 and similarly here yeah. and the target value as you can see it has uh, maximum value 0 minimum value 0 and maximum value is 4 uh, for type of data so we cannot predict uh, the multiple uh, level of heart uh, target types so we can just uh, convert that types 1 to 4 to 1 if it has any symptoms we can uh, call it as heart disease presence of heart disease like here we have uh, let's convert it uh, like uh, 
convert or transform the data from whichever is more than zero we call it as uh, it has a uh, hard disk it is a hard disk is present so here by this line we'll just replace the data to one and the is is let's categorize the is from uh, 29 to 40 as young is and uh, 40 to 55 as middle is and greater than uh, 55 is the oldest so here uh, is the uh, panda line where we can just assign like one this is two category of s and this is three greater than 55 these are the condition by this condition we can convert the data into one two or three categories and convert the number let's so whichever is the number is uh, numeric like uh, fill na if it is na just fill with zero okay let's run this this okay this is the head header before processing it was looking like the target you can see two zero one two three so after processing we'll see the samples like everything all the target has been uh, you know transformed to zero either zero or one so okay we'll just uh, you by the help of sns uh, distribution plot we just plot all the features along with uh, target so by that uh, by seeing the, all these plots we can uh, you know find out which attributes is uh, okay sorry that is my code. okay which attribute is uh, you know dependent on um, which is uh, causing which can be the major uh, decision factor deciding factor for hard disk so will that uh, filter those attributes and rest of the attributes will drop it okay as you can see here the six not six so uh, we have only two six is the middle is is having a, a more curve and also the three like uh, higher is, older is similarly the distribution is here like uh, this is uh, the bell curve test bp also it's like the important factor okay so instead of going that we'll just do the correlation plot here this is the correlation data so this is uh, like the raw data we'll plot it and from the map we can see and let's zoom it the same uh, table data raw data has been plotted to this correlation uh, heat map data you can call it so this is my target these are all the attributes so we'll find out which attribute is you know causing a hard disease we'll see just like the one value is this is my is and this is in the y column it is is and the x is is obviously age will be dependent on age so that the correlation is one so we'll just ignore all the diagonal elements that is not uh, of our interest the target so we'll just see target and age what is the correlation value is 0.25 similarly target with 6 is 0.28 instead of going by this value we can just go the vertical uh, you know color chart which is red like towards one that is our interest uh, and which is below is like blue is we'll just ignore that because that is no longer uh, adding value for our prediction hard disease prediction we'll drop them so here we can see the test bp is as value 0.16 we'll drop it cholesterol level 0.17 and they be all this value will drop it so this is the line we can drop it okay let's drop okay it is plotting all this pair plot it is plotting again uh, here after dropping we have uh, this many number of attributes okay now we'll go to the like um, what is called modeling the data we we'll just uh, drop the target value because that is that we are going to do our classification we will drop it 
and with the help of uh, pre-processing standard scalar and uh, we'll be you know we may need this uh, for cross validation for like uh, finding out what is the valuation score and, the, and with the help of train and train in this method we'll just split the data to training and test data okay here the train and testing data has been splitted so we'll get the train x and then y like test and this is like testing data training data and test data and the train y and this this will be our output along with which we will be validating our data okay let's run it test data size is 61 and the training data would be obviously 300 minus 620 it will be around okay we can just uh, print it here this will be our training x train x obviously it will be like so this is with the help of uh, 242 record we'll be training this 242 record and whatever the model we create will be validating with this 61 record and find out whether our model is uh, predicting perfectly or not what is the accuracy value so this is like the pca decomposition will do okay as you can see the number of features with cumulative explained variance so we are getting the flat value around uh, 9 or 6 with the number of features are 6 we will be getting it's nearly 1 ok we can assume here we are getting a flat as 4 because the number of records are very less like 300 just 300 the graph is for looking like this otherwise it would have been you know, flattened by some point that point we should take ok for safe side we will take number of features as 4 so number of components as 4 we will just fit the training data and transform the data to reduce train data and then we will plot it the scatter plot with the help of scatter plot and find out the distribution of, of first PCA component along with second PCA component similarly we have a uh, PCA 3 and PCA 4 so we will be just ignoring that because uh, that doesn't give any importance here ok so right now our next task is to be compared with four machine learning components uh, machine learning model sorry minus tech uh, SBM like support vector net classification decision tree random first classifier and logistic regression this is pretty simple only four line we can do a modeling just import this line sbm this is your model with the cornell poly and gamma auto so that is we can just refer to the svm document and see what are the parameters best to choose so we'll just uh, created the model this is my SBM model and we'll feed the model whatever the model we have will feed the training data with X and Y like this is our uh, input this is our prediction similarly we'll do the prediction with the, mo the model will predict the test data this is the test data and accuracy accuracy the same model if you do a score it will just give you the accuracy so we'll store this accuracy to this uh, dictionary so this is the dictionary we have already created here for uh, capturing the accuracies of various models like the four models we have okay let's uh, just run it okay the accuracy is finding is perfectly 83 percent that's pretty good okay now similarly this is for decision tree classifier i'm not going to uh, explain what uh, what is decision tree classifier or sbm so I've just uh, our intention is to find um, which is the best model so this is this tutorial is not about explaining all these uh, models so maybe if uh, I, I find in time I will just explain uh, in detail about SVM what is SVM or a decision tree classifier or random forest classifier and which model is uh, should be picked at what uh, place okay so let's run it because okay 
for decisions with gratifier the percentage accuracy level is 75 that is pretty impressive even though not bad okay we'll go to random forest classifier is pretty similar and the logistic regression is 78 okay it's better than those okay now we have the accuracy values and accuracy keys like the dictionary that we have captured and we will plot it here you can see the accuracy of SVC looking good compared to this two so we we'll just this decision tree classifier the random club forest classifier uh, they are not uh, good performing uh, models the logistic regression is okay but the best out of it is uh, support vector uh, matrix our classifier okay now uh, next to find the confusion matrix confusion matrix means the uh, matrix which you need to find out the true positive true false negative false positive negative and true negative okay we will plot it so it will just give us a hit map here confusion matrix for uh, okay i'll just zoom it a little bit this is for svm confusion and this confusion matrix this is for decision tree random forest and logistic as we already know SBM has a better accuracy like 83 percent okay so here in the confusion what is the confusion matrix confusion matrix uh, like this section is true positive this is false positive this is false negative this is true negative okay we have got all this confusion uh, matrix so what is the decision point so decision in mind the model we should give true as well as positive that means the patient it should uh, predict that the, if i have these many parameters like age or the cholesterol level or this parameter the model should predict true heart disease patient if you should not uh, predict uh, false negative this is false as well as negative you cannot do that or uh, true negative it is having a, a heart disease the patient is might be having heart disease but it is predicting that it doesn't have heart disease that this is true negative so these two diagonal whichever is having good value we will pick that so here the first one is the true positive will pick okay 34 is good okay among us so here the SBM is the winner, second winner is logistic regression because the true negative is 31 and these two are pretty bad. Generally because the, though the data is very less like 300 so our accuracy level is 83 otherwise it would have been more than 90%. Okay that's it guys so, so I have uploaded uh, the source code and the output uh, over github this is i will be sharing with the youtube channel the link will be just uh, you know shared in the description area okay thanks sir. i will be uploading views um, a few more machine learning related uh, topics with the source code of the hands on uh, okay thank you thanks for watching my video see you next bye bye